Good day, welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. I want to look today at Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 17. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A friend loves in adversity or in prosperity, as the scripture tells us. A brother or a sister is born to support and comfort another brother or another sister when they are in distress. We see examples of friendship in the scriptures. Abraham in Genesis 14, verse 14. Joseph in Genesis 45 and verse 5. Moses in Exodus 32, verse 11 through 13. Jonathan in 1 Samuel 20 and verse 33. We see Paul in the book of Philemon. And we see Barnabas in Acts chapter 9, 27. But today we can also look in Philippians 2, verse 25 through 28 about Epaphroditus, who was a friend of Paul in the ministry and who see to his needs when he needed it most. We also see Jesus in all of this because, of course, he is the friend when we are certainly in need and certainly he is a friend indeed. And so, Today, as we look at what a friend should be or who is a friend, it often takes hard times to show which friends are genuine, which friends are loyal. Someone once said, a true friend is like ivy. The greater the rune, the closer it clings. So a brother or a sister that is born for adversity has the great privilege of being at uh, the side of a friend in hard times. When that friend is needed the most, it takes self-sacrificing. And so we see this uh, in Philippians chapter 2 as we said before Philippians chapter 2 reading from verse 25 it says yet I supported it necessary to send you Epaphroditus my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier but your messenger and he that ministered to my wants so Paul was saying, here is a brother who ministered to his needs when he was in hard time. He says he is a fellow worker. He is a fellow soldier. He says, my brother. This speaks of affection. This speaks of love. The second thing he says about this guy is that he was a hard worker. The third thing he says, that didn't minus conflict from us. But Paul speaks of him who minister to his needs. Again, we know that Paul speaks of Timothy, who was a young man, but a true friend and a companion to Paul in the ministry. He was very young, but Paul had confidence in him and could send him wherever he thinks they needed him to take care of their spiritual condition. And he did so to the Philippians. He was very young, but the Apostle Paul knew that he could commend him or he could recommend him to the saints and he would make self-sacrificing efforts to show them love and to be of service to them. Many of us today in the 
modern church. We show love or tend to say we are showing love only when we are in the eyes of the public and it is pleasant to do so. But when it is hard to do so or it is unpleasant, it might be otherwise. We see that with Job and his friends in the book of Job. Oh, instead of they comfort him, they gave him a really hard time by accusing him of things that he did not uh, do. But we should also be thankful that for those who carry on routinely to show love and service on a daily basis. But all they do is work quietly behind the scene. They are not seen, sometimes not heard, but they work humbly doing this for others. Whether it's a brother that is of the brotherhood or a sister that is of the sisterhood, but they humbly do the work without anyone seeing or having public knowledge of what is going on. So the wise man says, a friend loves at all times. Jesus Christ is the greatest friend that we can have. He loves at all times. And we often sing, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. It is a privilege that we can carry everything to him in prayer. This is a friend that we can tell everything and we are confident that he will keep it and he will supply whatsoever we need if we ask of him. We also sing, there is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. There is no hour of the day that he, or night that he is not near us. No, not one. No, not one. There is no night that is so dark that he cannot cheer us. No, not one. No, not one. He knows all about our weaknesses. But he promised to guide us until the day is done. He promised to be with us, never to abandon us, never to forsake us, whether it is in good times or in troublesome times. So today, as the wise man says, a friend loveth at all times. We can trust Jesus Christ, who is a true friend, that he will love us at all times unconditionally. And that is why he gave his life upon a cruel cross. He died to set us free from all our sins. Let us trust him today as the best and the dearest friend that we can have and let us love our friends and be of service to them especially in the time of great need whether it is sickness or death whether it is sorrow or pain whatsoever they are going through we can use the example of Jesus how he did it we can use the example of this dear friend Epaphroditus, the one who stood by Paul, self-sacrificing, even when he himself was feeling sick. He worked himself in the service of the Lord almost to the point of death, just trying to be there, just trying to help out. And so it is expected of us that in adversity we will stay loyal, we will stay genuine, we will stay as true friends to those of whom we are brothers 
all sisters. God bless you. Thank you again for watching and may God bless the U.S. Hey.